there's a day for everything. And I think women definitely deserve at least one day of the year to be acknowledged. If it's enough to make people a little bit more aware on that day, super. I think women need to be recognized every day. I think everybody needs to be recognized every day. Mrs. Denton, thank you so much for taking the time. You have been living in Turkey since summer last year. Have you set it down already? How do you like it? Brilliantly is the answer, the short answer. We have been made to feel so welcome in this country. Hard to put into words, both from the city itself, just in terms of the atmosphere and the people, and from the embassy staff. And we just are most thankful. It's been brilliant. You actually are a financial expert and married to a top diplomat. How are these two careers compatible? I think if you want to make it work, you can make it work. That means somebody has a little, little bit, bit, a little bit more, ah, more flexible, and that's usually me, but that's fine. My career has also kind of adapted to where we've gone, and I think that that's been a positive aspect for both of us. The huge plus for me is that Right now, with the internet and access to information globally, I'm working in a way that I could never have worked 20 years ago. Sometimes it is difficult for women to have a career, especially in male-dominated areas. Have you also had this experience in your work life? Observed and lived. In the financial sector, in the business sector, it's clearly still very much a male-dominated um, sphere. I follow the financial sector and one of the best performing fund managers of all time right now in the United States, for example, is a woman. So women are making their way. Women are definitely, they're challenged on the salary side. You know, I think you'll see everywhere that uh, women are tend to be paid less. Often women will have the responsibility for taking care of a family whether that be children or parents. And I just say chapeau to all of the women who are courageous enough to just move things forward, whatever it might be. Germany is, I think, blessed in the biggest way possible with Frau Merkel as chancellor. What an extraordinary example she is to all women across the world. I mean, when I think of how she operates and what she is able to accomplish, I just say, I'm in awe. <laughs> I'm in awe of Frau Merkel. And then I think of, you know, you think of um, Frau Lagarde. Now you think of Frau van der Leyen. Women are rising up, and they're, I don't even want to es estimate the challenges that they have every day, because those are very male-dominated environments. Women are out there, and I think that sometimes we forget and don't see how many are actually there. What do you think? What do women need to be successful? Education is always a good ground, a good starting point. And I know in a lot of the world, girls do not have access to education. Um, or at least not the same education or good education. That's so critical. I think some women are really just still, unfortunately, having to prepare the ground for the people who are going to follow them. But determination, determination. And also then being raised to think that you can do it, to know that you can do it. That's the better word, to know that you can do it. You're meeting a lot of people of and in different cultures. Are there major differences when it comes to the challenges women are facing in different countries? What is your impression? Differences in the countries and the cultures will make a huge difference to the opportunities and to the whole perception of what the role of a woman is. And, and the what. So that's, I think that's important. And I think in Turkey, I'm really impressed with Every woman that I've run into, I mean, I have wonderful exchanges. They're all very, always very patient with my few words of Turkish. But um, to the meeting of the wives of uh, spouses of some of the politicians, incredibly impressive people who, who have their own spheres and their own lives. And I don't know enough of their challenges to, to be able to answer that. If you could make a wish for the women of this world in 10 years' time, what would it be? Let me start with having all girls having the same right to education as boys. But I think 
all children having the right to an education in 10 years if we didn't need to have Women's Day because there was no difference. We could get over those whatever barriers exist and say, I see a person for that person. And I can tell you that that goes back to my roots. That's the way I was raised. We were five kids and everybody got treated the same. You just see a person as a person, not as a anything else. Yeah.